What's up, everybody? This is Lalu back that thing up, Sims, and I'm taking over for the 99 and the 2000 by bringing you new Crest Overachievers, where we'll be focusing on completing all the achievements in the game, as well as general Sims play like aspirations, whims, skills, relationships, all of that good stuff. This is part four, the success episode. Yes, the title says it all. There's going to be a lot of good things happening in this episode. A lot of growth, a lot of prosperity, and a little bit of drama. But first, I think I need to tell you what happened on the last part. If you watched it, then you know that I had to redeem myself by throwing another party trying to get a gold reward. But before we even started, I got the just getting started achievement. So congratulations to me. But when we got into the party, everybody was there. Sombrero Lady Travis. The Calientes, Don Lothario, everybody, they all helped us get that gold reward, so congratulations to me again. But of course, that wasn't enough for Jen. She had to go out and throw a little after party at the club. She stayed out all night, didn't come home till about 9 o'clock in the morning. Very, very tired. Left her poor husband at home all night long, cleaning up, fixing the refrigerator. You know he's a little OCD, but he stayed up all night and helped us get that all-nighter achievement. So that's two achievements without even really trying. That's the definition of overachievers right there. But, of course, Jen had to stir things up by inviting Don Lothario over while Steven was at home. They're flirting on the porch. Steven felt like he heard something, so he came to check things out, but he did did not catch them doing anything but is he suspicious will he say anything to Jen about Don being there I don't know because I ended the episode and we are going to find out right now so if you thought Steven was going to confront Jen about Don being at the house you were dead wrong and you had more faith in Steven than I did because I know that Steven has no backbone. He's just going to suppress those feelings and emotions deep down inside and not say anything. He's just going to get out his aggression by cleaning or getting on the computer. But on a lighter note, Jen is trying to get us this milestone achievement. She's almost maxed out her guitar skill. And then we will have an achievement under our belt and she just did it. You know, I always love to see those rainbow glitter things and the gold glitter things that always mean something good. So that means we got the Mousetrap achievement and Jen maxed out her guitar skills. So she is an official master of plucking strings. And um, Steven has got a level three in the mischief skill. So maybe that's how his emotions and feelings are coming out. You know, he's getting out his aggression by trolling people on Facebook. So now... Jen is trying to achieve her musical genius aspiration. So the last thing she needs to do is mentor another sim in a musical instrument for three hours. So Steven is her guinea pig right now. And she's trying to teach him the guitar. And she's got two hours down. We just need one more hour. And then we can see some of that rainbow or gold glitter that I love to see so much because that always means something good that always means we've achieved something so we're just waiting on it to pop up there's the gold glitter aspiration achieved boom this is one successful last episode thanks to Jen she's completed her musical genius aspiration so let's take a look and see what we had to do to get here so first there's the first milestone um, she needed to practice music for six hours, listen to music for two hours, and that was the tone deaf milestone. The next is fine tuned milestone. She needed to achieve a level four skill in an instrument and play an instrument for one hour while inspired. Then there's the next milestone, which is achieve a level six in an instrument, write four songs earn 500 simoleons from licensed songs and the last milestone was to achieve a level 10 in an instrument have spent 75 hours playing musical instruments and mentor others in music for three hours congratulations Jen that was a lot of hard work but now we need to take a look at 
Steven's achievement and see what else we need to do. So we've practiced programming for five total hours, play video games for five to total hours to complete that first milestone. Second, we needed to maintain focus for two straight hours of video gaming, achieve a level three programming skill, own $3,000 worth of electronics. We've done that. Next is to have um, Steven become an adult reach level three of the tech guru career and make a video gamer app we need to do that steve is a young adult so i guess that counts as being an adult so the next um milestone is computer whiz we need to have him reach a level five of the tech guru career and have spent 100 hours on the computer that does not seem too hard we just need to focus 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 on steven so he can achieve his aspiration as well so now that Jen has achieved her musical genius aspiration, we get to choose another one for her. So I was thinking we could do um, something in the love category and probably it's going to be serial romantic because she's already cheating on Steven. Might as well get another aspiration out of it and spice up this series just a little bit. But before she goes out on 100 dates, she needs to max out this piano skills so we've made a little music room for her so she's gonna start learning the piano but what I forgot to tell you was along with her being outgoing romantic a muser um, and creative she's earned the Piper trait from completing that aspiration and what that means is she can control sims by playing certain songs on the piano so she can play the carol of cleaning which makes sims clean the ditty of drowsiness which makes him sleep the etude of egress which makes him leave and the song of sophistication which makes him change into formal wear i mean she kind of already has that kind of control over steven without even playing those type of songs so she really doesn't need that trait but it's always nice to have um, but if you take a look, you know, we got rid of the bed. This was the extra bedroom. We needed a place to put the piano, so we got rid of that and just kind of made this her little music room. So she spends all her time in there, which leaves room for other chicks to come in and try to steal her husband away. This is Latasha, I think, and she works with Steven. She's one of his co workers. And um, as you can tell from her body language, like she's really trying to put the moves on Steven, trying to kind of steal him away from Jen I mean he does kind of need this kind of attention right now but it would, be, it would be better if he got it from his wife but he does have a level three mischief skill so he might take the bait he's a changing man he's changing right in front of our eyes but like I said Jen spends all her time in this music room and doesn't even really see what's going on with her husband um she's just focused on learning this piano which she's really 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 getting good at because she's already at a level five but i wish this chick latasha would go somewhere i mean she's standing there staring at her it's a little weird it's a little strange and if you recognize her that's the one that had the sombrero on but let's try this um carol of cleaning piper song thing let's just see if it works so yeah energized steven he took out the trash it works so we're going to leave Steven and Jen to their own devices right now. Um, we're kind of leaving them at a weird point in their relationship. Jen has the serial romantic aspiration, so she's going to be cheating left and right on Steven. Steven may potentially have a girlfriend on the side. We don't know what's going to happen with that. He has a level three mischief skill, so you know he's he's becoming a little bit unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, but when we come back, we're going to see where that, you know, level of craziness is going to take them. But we're going to meet Trinity Martin right now. She has the party animal aspiration and that naturally makes her gregarious. So she likes to talk and she's materialistic. She's all about that dough and she likes to spend it. So do I. Um, she's self-assured. So she's confident. And she can easily go into that confident emotion. And she's also outgoing. She's, so she likes to meet other Sims. And that is what she and Jen have in common. I mean, they've been talking for a really, really long time. So they may become really good friends. You know, Trinity needs to meet a lot of people. She's new to Newcrest. And she's also here to find love. And this may be 
the one right here this heavenly creature is christopher reyes and he's so cute and he's her neighbor and he's part of the at bachelor life household which is a household i created for newcrest so we may possibly be able to follow them in this series as well but we're gonna have trinity and christopher get to know each other he is definitely a possibility for a boyfriend for you know dating or you know a fling or whatever but he's definitely going to be in her life because he's so darn cute so we're going to get them to kind of get to know each other you know trinity needs to meet a lot of people because that is one of the goals in her aspiration is for her to introduce herself to 10 sims and the other goal is for her to have three friends so potentially chris and jen could be her two friends and we'll need to have her to get one more so now that she's talked up a storm like my grandma would say it's time for her to get a job i mean she is materialistic so she needs to make money to spend it so we're gonna have her do one of these careers now i've had the get to work expansion pack for a minute now and i've never done either one of those careers so i think i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna have trinity be a doctor so she's gonna start off as an intern uh, making 18 simoleons per hour and then her next day is going to be Saturday tomorrow so we're gonna have her go to bed and then kind of get up and hang out with her newfound friends so they're gonna go to the pool no the Sims 4 does not have community pools I got this from um, the gallery and whoever built it did an awesome job I mean look at this huge pool is so nice and clear I mean the glass panel set it off there's a bar in the back there's another small pool you know sims can really come here and have a good time and swim and socialize or do whatever drink but hopefully they won't drink and swim because swimming drunk means you're gonna drown I think but there is an ulterior motive you know like I said before Trinity needs to introduce herself to 10 sims so she's going to do that here at the pool because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of sims in and out of this um, community pool here. So we're going to have her introduce herself to this guy right here. He is Wax and he is part of that at Bachelor Life household that I was telling you about. So um, he's Chris's roommate and I really really hope we can get to that household because I think it's going to be really really fun to follow these dudes around in their little shenanigans and dates and careers and all that stuff but anyway let's focus on Trinity we need to have her introduce herself to as many sims as possible so wax was number three so of course Jen and Chris were number one and two there's a lady here at the bar with a hat there's a green vest right here so we're gonna have her introduce herself to those two that'll be four and five so we're halfway there you know maybe we will be able to get this goal and maybe complete this milestone if she makes another friend because you see Chris is her friend now their relationship is steadily increasing which is a good thing and uh, she and Jen are friends as well so she needs one more friend maybe green vest can be her friend I don't know um, hopefully Trinity's giving her some fashion advice because who wears a vest in the summertime a bubble vest I mean you could wear a vest in the summer but not a bubble vest I mean you look a little crazy so here's a shaved head here we're gonna uh, let Trinity introduce herself to her but why come to the community pool if you're not gonna swim yes she has introduced herself to six sims so it's time to take a break from that take a little dip I mean the water looks nice it looks really nice and clear you know I didn't get a chance to swim at all this summer so I'm gonna live vicariously through Trinity right now and let her swim it up um, and still let her get to know and talk to Christopher a little bit maybe have her splash him I kind of want to see that interaction now I know in the Sims 3 when you splash somebody that made her mad like they didn't like it and that looks aggressive but she's now playful so that is a positive interaction now but I'm pretty sure in the Sims 3 it was a negative interaction so let's let her finish this goal of introducing herself to 10 Sims but before we do that I just want to focus on this little boy right here who is the damn 
devil he has been making everybody angry at this bar i mean look at this lady she's like cussing him out right now i don't know what he's doing or what he's saying to all of these sims but he is really like making everybody mad we did get that goal by the way but this little boy is kind of taken away from that because he is just mouthing off at everybody you see look at that i mean what is he do like where's his mom his mom just come snatch him up pop him a little bit maybe i don't know do something he shouldn't be out at the pool making adults angry that's for sure my mom wouldn't have stood for that so let's get to know this cutie right here that is dex lee and he is part of yes the at bachelor life household um he could possibly be a contender for trinity's heart um but i don't know if this is the right time for them to meet because this little boy has pissed trinity off too she's mad she has an attitude and that's not the right mood to be in when you're looking for a potential man so this i mean this little boy needs to go home because look dex is trying to talk to her crack a joke and trinity is just not having it at all like she has a major attitude so let's let her go to the gym and kind of run off some of that aggression i mean that is one of her whims so let's just have her do that she's still mad work out some of that aggression but she didn't even spend two seconds on it on that treadmill before she saw dawn steal your girl lothario and they're already having a suggestive conversation i mean look at it what is it about him that these sims cannot resist i mean it's crazy but jen is right there i'm pretty sure trinity doesn't know about um jen and don's secret lover relationship like i'm pretty sure she doesn't know that she just met she just met Jen and I'm pretty sure Jen hadn't told her yet but Don definitely knows that Trinity and Jen are friends but he doesn't care he just wants to be in a crazy love triangle I mean why else would he try to talk to Jen's friend but Trinity's just you know going out meeting everybody having a good time um and maybe she'll even get to know this second gen over here in the towel yes there are two jen and steven reigns in the game that was an accident i can't figure out how to get the other ones out so we're just gonna have two uh crazy rain couples so we're just gonna have to deal with it but trinity has had a really really good couple of days i mean she's met a lot of sims she completed a goal on her milestone she has two friends and Jen and Christopher and um she possibly has a you know a boyfriend well not a boyfriend right now but Christopher could be her boyfriend and she's just gonna call it a night so that means I'm gonna call it the end of the episode we are going to follow Trinity on her first day of work on the next episode so make sure you come back for that I mean this was the success episode and we were very successful Trinity um almost got her milestone Jen got us the milestone achievement and she completed her aspiration and she maxed out her guitar skills so yes this was a damn successful episode it was great and wonderful and i'm just gonna end on a positive note so i want you to come back for the next episode like i said so we can follow trinity on her first day of work being an intern so if you like this video please 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 hit the like button please subscribe if you want to see more achievements and if you want to see more shenanigans with trinity jen steven and whoever else i decide to throw into this series i'm gonna see you later